One thing you'll want to understand and be able to set up securely is remote access to your Ubuntu servers. In modern computing, it's quite rare that you'll have to or want to manage a server by a directly connected keyboard and mouse known as a console connection. You'll want to be able to sit at your desk or at home or wherever you choose and manage your server over the network using Secure Shell or SSH. There are many pieces involved in setting up SSH, but we'll break it down so you'll be able to handle it like a pro. SSH is a network protocol specifically designed to let you securely manage your server over a network connection. It uses Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, on port 22 to listen for connections by default. Traffic, including your credentials, is kept encrypted so eavesdroppers can't see or tamper with your data in transit. Once you authenticate to an SSH service listening on your server, you'll be able to manage it using a terminal emulation program from anywhere. As mentioned, there are several steps in configuring remote access securely. Ensure OpenSSH server is installed on your server. Configure networking on your VirtualBox VM so you can connect. Configure your UFW firewall. Download a terminal emulator. That could be PuTTY for Windows, iTerm for Mac OS X, or OpenSSH Client for Linux. Configure Public Key Infrastructure, or PKI, encryption. To do that, you'll generate your keys. You can do that using PuttyGen for Windows, or SSH KeyGen for Mac OS X and Linux. Copy your public keys to your account on the server. Test public key access. Then you'll disable remote access for the root account. And you'll disable password authentication for all remote access. So all remote access after that will have to take place using the keys you generated earlier. Consider installing fail to ban and possibly changing the listening port number. Fail to ban will be covered in the security section. Wow, that sounds like a lot of stuff. It is quite a bit, but it's broken down for you step by step. You'll understand SSH and be comfortable with installing, configuring, and testing it by the end of this section.